everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving into the new collection from Shantakai. I have had this collection for a while and I received it and I was going to put up my video as soon as possible and then I got sick with COVID so it took me a minute to get this review up. Um, but this collection did launch, uh, I think like the beginning of February if I'm mistaken, maybe the end of January, beginning of February. And I am so excited. This, the marketing on this new collection was absolutely stunning. And this is a limited edition collection. I did not receive this in PR. I wanna make that very clear. I have received a few items from Shantakai in PR, but this collection I purchased myself. And even if I received it in PR, of course, I would still always be honest, but I wanna make it clear, I purchased this with my own money. So let's start with the eye quartlet. This is called the Giraffe Eye Quartlet, and it is so pretty. I love the colors in here. I love the tones and this white shade is gorgeous. So this palette retails for $74. It is Shantakai. Shantakai's eyeshadows are pretty expensive. Packaging, it's not quite as heavy and luxe as you think it's going to be. It is plastic. So for those of you out there that packaging is important to you, meaning that you like some weight to it you want it to feel like it's luxurious this is not going to feel that way it's pretty lightweight um i love the giraffe on the front i love the way this looks especially if you're spending 74 dollars on something i want you to know i mean this is a review i want you to know exactly what you're getting and what you're spending your money on so this palette is described as four flattering earth tone neutrals that mix and match to create rich defined eye looks. Giraffes across Africa are quietly vanishing, which is very true. We are proud to help give them a voice and a future with the Giraffe Conservation Foundation. Now I also picked up two of the three lip sheets. When I ordered this, only two of them were available. So I have Jasmine and I have uh, Freesia. The Willow was not available to purchase. Willow is described to be a sophisticated cool pink and I am kind of starting to like the cool pinks. I do have Freesia and I do have Jasmine. Now these each retail for $48 and the description on these, these are a glossy, lightweight, smoothing lip chic that is infused with hydrating hyaluronic acid or plumper looking lips that feel incredibly soft and nourished. And again, uh, proceeds from this will go to the Giraffe Conservation Foundation. That's pretty much all of the deets on this collection from Shantakai. We're gonna go ahead and jump into trying on the eye palette, kind of playing around with it, and then I'll try on the lippies, and then we will get into the swatches, and I will swatch the palette next to other palettes and other shades that I might find similar in other palettes, so you guys can see if this is a palette that you really need in your collection. And then I will also swatch the two lip cheeks from this collection next to a few other lip cheeks that I do have from Shantakai, and then we will get into my final thoughts. So I will see you guys then. Okay, we're gonna try this again. So yesterday I went to film this video and my power went out. I had opened up the palette in the box. I had opened it, I had taken it out, I had talked about how beautiful the packaging was and then boom, all the lights out, my power went out and we were out of power for five hours. Here's the, here's the thing, I can go a very long time without power. A couple years ago we had a windstorm that knocked our power out for almost five days and I was also babysitting my mom's dogs at the same time. So I had four schnauzers and my two dogs and a puppy. My golden retriever at the time was a puppy. He was only a few months old. <laughs> it was a complete nightmare. So I can handle, I can handle going without power, but for some reason the last year, every single time we lose power, the smoke alarms go off. It's almost like one of the alarms, even though it doesn't flash that the battery is dead, but it seems like one of the smoke alarms is running off the power. And so when the power goes out, they all start flipping out. Well, when the smoke alarms go off, my dogs go nuts. 
I have a German Shepherd, a Golden Retriever, and a Shih Tzu. And all three of them go into full-blown panic mode and they crawl on top of me, like afraid of these alarms. So about every 10 minutes, I have to reset them. So I have to take a broomstick and hit the reset button and they go off. In the meantime, in between the every 10 minutes, the dogs are literally on top of me. At one point, I had reset them my 10 minutes. I sat in a dark bathroom. <laughs> I just shut the door. I needed like 10 minutes without dogs on top of me. Uh, Golden Retrievers and German Shepherds are not the best lap dogs. <laughs> so, uh, it was a very interesting day. <laughs> so, here we go again. We're going to get into this beautiful palette. I'm kind of excited about it. I actually got this collection a, a while back. It's been probably two or three weeks since it's been in my collection. But, as many of you guys know, I was out because I had COVID. I am back. I am feeling so much better. My brain's a little foggy. And sometimes I have a hard time understanding like what people are saying. For example... Two days ago, I was driving back from the grocery store, driving, and I was like, okay, where am I going? Where am I going? I was going home. But I had to register in my brain where I was going. So my brain's still a little foggy. I don't know if that's happened to anyone that's had COVID. Uh, it sounds like it's very common to have like this brain fog is what they call it, but it's happening to me. So over the next week or so, if, if I start acting a little ditzy and like out of it, you will know it's just COVID brain fog. Okay, she's beautiful. I mean, she's a really beautiful palette. I didn't actually try it on yesterday, so I didn't make it that far. I opened it up and put my fingers in these two shades and the power went out. <laughs> so, uh, I really like this color combination. I do, I think it's very beautiful and I love the white packaging. I love the giraffe. I think it's just so pretty and so chic. We're just going to dive into it. I'm going to start with this shade right here. Some of Chantecaille's mattes are quite powdery. They kind of remind me of ABH shadows, but they're a little bit more pigmented. Well, some of the colors are. Um, so they do have a, quite a bit of kickback in the actual pan. So we'll see how this goes. I am now going to dip into this shade and I'm going to bring this in the crease. It's kind of a soft kind of satin shade and those kinds of textures are so fun to bring in the crease. So I'm going to bring that right below the crease and then I'm going to just blend it out with a clean brush. It's got a lot of pigment so just be careful with the pigment because it's a lot. And it's, you guys, I went a long time not doing my makeup when I was sick, and I feel like I have to relearn how to do eyeshadow. <laughs> I felt like it might be just like riding a bike and I could just figure it out, but I'm, it's not that easy. <laughs> it's not. I have a line here that I can't get to blend out. It's like I need a little bit of a bone shade maybe, but boy, am I glad they don't have it in this palette because I will grab a bone shade from another palette or I can even use my finishing powder to kind of soften up any lines that I have. I don't want a quad with a bone shade. One of my biggest pet peeves in a quad is to have a bone shade. I'm like, I don't need it. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that there. I have a little work to do, but we're gonna leave it there. I'm gonna now go into this gorgeous purple. Oh, it is pretty. And with the Smith 253 brush, this brush picked it up pretty good. So, um, Oh my gosh, this shade is not what you expect. You actually look at it and think it's gonna be kind of just a weak shimmer purple. Oh no, 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 no. This came to play, like this came to play. This is a really pretty shade. I am very impressed. This is a gorgeous shade. You know, I kind of regret not doing a halo eye with this because I feel like 
this palette has enough dimension for a halo eye and I kind of regret it. Okay, hold on. I'm going to, I'm going to do something here. I'm going to wipe. I know I'm being a little ridiculous, but this palette is perfect for a halo eye. So I'm going to wipe and under because I did get a little fallout. Okay. I fixed it. I'm going to go in with this shade right here. I'm just going to do it, you guys. I think this is such a pretty shade. I'm going to put this on the inner corner and the outer corner. <laughs> Trust and believe I will pull this together. I'm trying to convince myself that I'm going to do it. <laughs> oh, help me. The shade is pigmented. I gotta fix this outer corner, but I'll fix that in a minute. Okay, now I'm gonna go back into the shimmer shade, but I'm gonna wet, I'm gonna dampen this. It's got quite a bit of pickup, which I'm not mad at that. I would much rather have the pickup than have it get hard panned. So believe me when I say, I am not mad at the fact that this is a little bit of a chunky shadow because it might be a tad bit messy, but boy, does it apply beautifully. And that at the end of the day is what matters. I mean, it is a very beautiful, beautiful shadow. Okay, so I'm back. I threw on some concealer and now I need to kind of pull this together because it has potential, but I'm just not quite there yet. So I'm gonna go into this shade first and then I'll darken it with that shade. Although I will admit, that bottom color is not quite as dark as you think it's going to be. So it's a good thing that this matte shade does build really well. I just don't like this outer corner. I can't get it to... <sighs> can't get it to work. I can't get this to buff out, so I'm going to kind of... I have fixed it. Now I'm going to take the flat definers from Sigma and I'm going to go into this shade. And I'm going to focus that like right out here all the way in just to give some depth. I'm also going to do that on the outer corner on the top. I am going to take the Smith 253 and I'm going to go into this shade. It's just so beautiful and so white and I'm here for it. I'm gonna put it right there on the center, like going up. Oh, look how much dimension that added. Look at this side versus this side. Like it just brought it to another level. So beautiful. I'm trying to think off the top of my head what shade I have that's like that in my collection. And I don't know that I have one that's like this. It's white. It's a white shimmer and it's really beautiful. So I'm quite impressed with it. I'm also going to bring a little bit of that like right up on the brow bone just to kind of highlight that area. And then I'll definitely be bringing that on the inner corner. Like it's a very universal shadow and it's really, it's such a unique, beautiful shade. I'm so impressed. I like it because it's not silver. I like it because it's actually white. A lot of these shadows that are like this, sometimes they're more silver and it's really rare to find that white shimmer and I'm here for it. I think it's so pretty. Okay, so I'm back with my makeup on. This is the final look for the eye look and I did struggle a little bit with that matte shade which has happened with Shantakai shadows before, so I'll get into all of that in my final thoughts. But I do love the way that this eye look turned out, and I am loving that purple kind of silvery undertone shimmer shadow with the white over top. It's just so beautiful, and I'm so happy I decided to do a halo eye, so. Let's move on to the lippies. So there were actually three lip cheeks launched with this collection, but there was only two available. So the two shades that I have is Freesia and Jasmine. And I personally love Shantakai's lip cheeks. They're some of my absolute favorites. In fact, this one lives permanently in my purse. 
I not only love the packaging, the packaging's beautiful, but I, I love it. I throw it on when I need a quick something on the lip and they're always really comfortable without being too drying. Yes, they're very expensive. That to me is the only drawback when it comes to lip cheeks from Chantecaille. It's a great formula. The packaging is always just perfect. It's just the price. That's the only drawback in my opinion. I'm gonna open this up. Look at the giraffe on the outside. Isn't he adorable? I just love this. So this is the shade Freesia. I love the magnetic closure. They all shut that way. So that's Freesia. So the difference in packaging is Jasmine is a little bit more gold and Freesia is more of the color of my sweatshirt. So there is a difference. It's hard to see in camera but this one is lighter, it's got a little bit more gold to it, so just FYI. So that's the shade of Jasmine, except for I have the boniest hands, you guys. I get that from my mom, I have the boniest hands. So that's Jasmine and that's Freesia. So those are the two shut colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on Jasmine first. Jasmine doesn't have a lot of color to it, I would say it's a little bit more nude. It's not a bad color, but it's quite light. Um, and this might fade off quicker than some of the other lip cheeks that I have, even though I do think it's a really pretty color, but it's a little bit light. And so whenever you're whenever you're using sh you know, lip cheeks and stuff like that, they're gonna go away even quicker than one that has more of a base color to it. So this doesn't have a lot of base to it, but it still is a really pretty kind of natural nude tone. Okay, let's wipe this off and put on Freesia. And you can see that Freesia has that purple undertone. Uh, it's a really pretty color. In fact, I don't know that I have a color like this from Chantecaille in my collection. It's really pretty, but I do have quite a few lip cheeks from Chantecaille. So I will definitely swatch these shades next to the ones that I have from Chantakai in case you do have a lot of lip cheeks and you're wanting to know what these shades are compared to some of the others. But this is a really pretty color. I think this color in particular goes better with the eye look and the palette and stuff than the Jasmine. I feel like Jasmine might just be a little bit more, I think Jasmine might be a little bit too nude for my personal taste. I don't know. I, if it's gonna be a lip chic, if it's gonna be um, that kind of hydrating lip product, I want it to have a little bit of tone. I want the lips to have a little bit of tone. And so I feel like Jasmine might be a little bit too light for that. So that's it for the try-on of the palette and the two lippies that I have. Let's go ahead and jump into the swatches and then we will get into my final thoughts. So I will see you guys then.
Okay, so I am back for my final thoughts. Let's just jump right into it. I do hope that those swatches and comparisons were helpful for you. Now, let me first kind of say, I mentioned that I struggled with the matte shade. This is not an isolated thing. The only other palette that I have from Shantakai is this one right here, which I do really love this eye courtlet. Um, but this shade right here, this matte shade, do have a little bit of a struggle with their mattes. And it might just be my technique because I don't know that this is something that I've heard a lot of people talk about. But for me, I have struggled with their mattes. This is the only other Shantakai palette that I have. This one is the Hummingbird. And I love the blue in here. I just, I love uh, the shimmer shadows. But for some reason, every time I use this matte shade, I struggle blending it, like fully getting a good blend. And I had the same experience with this palette in this shade. It's It's got a lot of pigment and it's really soft when you blend it but it almost attaches and it's hard for me to blend. It might just be a personal thing. I don't know if I'm the only one, but I definitely wanted to mention it um, because that is my experience. But the rest of the shades I think are absolutely gorgeous. And I think this is the first Shantakai palette that I've seen that I've really wanted. So some of the others that I've seen, I'm like, yeah, I don't really need that because it's $74 and you don't get much product. In fact, this palette only has two grams worth of product. So just two grams. This palette is $37 per gram. So here's the thing about Shantakai. I am obsessed with their skincare. The more skincare I use from Shantakai, the more I love it. The thing about their makeup, it's a hit and miss. So for me, I love their mascara. It's this mascara right here. It is one of my favorites. Absolutely love their mascara. I love their gel bronzer. I love their gel blushes, the blush and bronzers, just absolutely beautiful. And I have also really started to enjoy uh, the Future Skin Foundation, the one that's in the tub. It has just been one that I've continued to grab and reach for and I just really love it. And lip cheeks are definitely one of my favorites as well. Their eye courtlets, I haven't always been like super excited about them because they are so expensive. They're $37 a gram. And I have a lot of Tom Ford and I have a lot of Charlotte Tilbury and even though I do like quads, I, I like the convenience of them. But their eye courtlets are not something that I I'm really all that excited about. There's other products from Shantakai that I would personally rather spend my money on than an eye courtlet. But this eye courtlet was the first one that I was actually really excited about. I really, really like this palette. I really like the tones in here. And though they're all not unique, this white shade is quite unique for my collection. So it almost makes me okay with spending the $74 on it because it is a really gorgeous white shadow. And I don't have a lot of those types of shadows in my collection. For me, I'm happy with this eye courtlet. It is very expensive. So I want you guys to know what you're getting and what you're paying when you buy a Shantakai eye courtlet. This eye courtlet is definitely the first one that I feel like is that everyday beautiful palette and I'm happy with it. I am. On a scale from one to five, I give this palette a five. Now, I don't have a lot of experience with Shantakai eye courtlets, obviously. This is the only other one that I have, but they stepped up with this one, in my opinion. This is the first one on their website that I was excited to buy, if that tells you anything. So those are my overall thoughts. Sound out down below in the comments section. Let us know, have you guys bought this collection? It has been out for a minute, so many of you guys might already have this collection. So I'm super, super curious to hear what was your experience with it? Are you loving it? Are you not? Share with us in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you. Bye.